Ciao, my name is Max and today we're going to make a horn using only our mouth and stock plugins in Ableton Live. And this is the result. And I actually duplicated and pitched it up an octave so together we will have something like this. I know it's not a Fisher horn killer, but still it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm sorry if you hear any fan noise, I had to turn it on because it's really hot here in Sicily. It's actually hot every day here in Sicily, so yeah, <laughs> just bear with me. Whatever. Welcome to Sound Design Sundays. This is our first episode and today we're going to make whatever you just heard because I haven't made it yet and I will be making it right now. The idea of today sound is a horn made just with our mouth and Ableton devices. What I'm going to do is actually something similar to a horn with my mouse where so I'm gonna close my lips, just open slightly and like do a noisy sound but very low so it's gonna be like let's directly record it maybe. I, I don't want actually to blow up in my microphone, so I'm gonna like offset my mouth. A few moments later. I think I might have the perfect take, but I might try again on camera. So now we have our mouth horn spectrum. These are our harmonics and we have this low end like um, noise that we actually don't want. So we can take a Q3 here, no, a Q8, right? And we want to high pass everything that we don't need. Okay, let's resample that. I might as well just turn this yeah, let's resample that. Okay, now we want to get rid of the mouse click clicks at the end there. Yeah, 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 that's good. Let's take this file, let's uh, see in the spectrum what we're dealing with. Yeah, so we don't have any more that low end. That's what we are aiming for. And now we can um, transpose it. Uh, let's choose the complex pro warping mode and let's transpose it octave down. Okay, yeah, that's, that's sounding great, better. Yeah, I like that. Maybe uh, let's work with this format. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Yeah, that's fine. So happens to be that a longer envelope will give us better results. And the formats at 100% or like higher formats seems to work better because they're just preserved a little bit of low end. I'm not a lot concerned about uh, the like the top noise over there. Um, I actually like it more with less noise, but we are going going to filter it out. So I'm not I'm not really concerned about that. Yeah, let's put like four months about 75 or so. I like that. What's this? Okay, we can we can get rid of that as well. And maybe I think the second harmonic as well, we can get rid of that. Something like that. Now we can um, saturate it. Why not? This will give us more grind to it, more bassy sound. Of it. 
Oh my god, that's that's a lot. That that's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe uh wife shaper? I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure. Let's go with Yeah, let's go with hard curve here. Maybe an overdrive. So we basically gonna saturate the crap out of it. Um overdrive, right? Yeah, we want and we want to preserve a little bit of those mid low, low mid frequencies chorus. Yellow raid. I'm liking that as well. Let's try with the frequency shifter. Oh, that's a cool effect. We're not going to use that. You are going to like use two hertz, maybe five hertz of uh, frequency shifting here. So yeah, basically what we're doing here is uh, removing the frequency that we don't want in our horn. Then we saturate it, saturate it again, put a little bit of chorus, just to give it a little bit of more, more, more movement. So yeah, that's, that's without, that's with. Let's check it in, in mono if we're going to destroy our mix or not. So yeah, we can lower the mix a little bit here on the chorus and frequency shifter. Yeah. Yeah, so that's quite fine. Always check your sounds uh, with the mono button with your utility. That makes a huge difference after when you're going to mix. Because this compared to this, is a huge difference okay in mono but where we are going to do like 25 percent so this is good this is good as well now let's add reverb a ton of reverb because that's what you're going to do in your track anyway right uh we're going to use the convolution reverb from max for live devices Okay, liking that. I think perhaps we might um, do another layer, but this one will be transposed a fifth above, so minus five. Not 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 the fifth above. The fifth above doesn't work. Let's just do. Yeah. And I want as well shorten it just a little bit. We're gonna take this part, okay, and do it like this. Copy paste it here. Uh, transpose twelve semitone. And I want the high one to finish a little bit before that. Yeah. 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 And now let's put a uh, reverb. But I want another reverb, first of all. Let's take like a hall. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. But I want it to be a little bit longer. Yeah, yes, that's perfect. Let's open our EQ and filter out a little bit of low end here. We don't want that low end to bleed out in the in the mix. Just just the tail of the reverb, just the highs. And maybe a little bit of delay as well.
Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Another thing we can do here is actually we can put some additional noise here. I'm going to use operator, uh, loop noise. Yeah. Okay, and we are going to set the envelope. So it will decay like in um half in one and half a second. Attack. We're going to do something like two hundred. Yeah, I'm liking that. And we're going to filter the noise as well. We only want high mid and the highs in our uh, noise. Yeah. Don't want that. We can bring it down a little bit more, uh, maybe 18. So we want this to be like a little bit longer. Yeah, glue compressor them all together. Something like this. Saturator, yes, please. Maybe saturated is too much. And this is too much as well. Maybe minus 25, minus 40. And I want to EQ that as well. Okay, yeah. Let's let's go with that. I think it's it's a good, it's a good one. So I wanted to show you how it sounds in context of a piece of a, of a track. And this is a tune I was working on. It's kind of breakbeat ish or on the floor track. And I will mute my horn part here and let's have a listen to the drop section here. <laughs> Yeah, and it's kinda it's kinda thin on the downbeat there. So I decided to layer our horn on there, and this is the result. Yeah, that that's totally different. Uh, it has like more power when the drop comes in, and there you have it: your horn slash stab made only with your mouth and stock plugins enabled in live. So I hope you found it interesting. Perhaps maybe you learned something from it. If you did subscribe because I will be posting a lot of these sound design techniques more in the future and thank you for watching. Ciao!